Hey everybody, I'm Bo from the band Need to Breathe. Um, I think, uh, just more and more, I think, to be ourselves. Uh, the first record we made, we are fairly green. And, you know, I think we're, we were just, you know, the name of the record, the new record, is called The Outsiders. And I, I think we felt a bit like that kind of since the beginning. Uh, we grew up in a town called Possum Kingdom. And, you know, there was no real, you know, example for us to look at. Um, so it, at first we just wanted to please, you know, we wanted to, we, we got signed uh, after touring for about six years and, um, you know, we went to L.A., we went to New York and saw the posters of Otis Redding and all that stuff on the walls and it was kind of like, you know, these people kind of know what they're talking about, you know, um, but it, it just kind of, it we kind of learned over time that, that, that everybody just kind of has opinions and a lot of those people have, are paid to have opinions and, um, you know, so we kind of felt like more and more we had, um, we just kind of took, you know, little steps at a time to kind of become ourselves. And then touring with that music, uh, we realized that, that people all over, over the country kind of get what we do, you know. Um, so the second record, I think we branched out and, and we're a lot more ourselves. But this third record was is 100%, you know, who Need to Breathe is. Um, so it's really cool because from from front to back, where there's just a lot of style changes, a lot of genre changes, kind of, and um, you know, so I think we we took a lot of chances, and and all that was definitely us kind of planning from the beginning. You know, the kind of record we wanted to make. I think this record, more than the other two, really had a vision from start to finish. I really, I think, hitting the road really hard. Um, you know, until you get out there you know you're just you're just a band writing songs in the closet you know um and then you get out on the road and you kind of see what works and see what um people gravitate to and what we kind of found out was was sincerity you know no matter what kind of music you're playing um being genuine being sincere is like uh just kind of that's transparent you can you can see that all day long and if you're not then that's also kind of obvious that the band is just playing you know a kind of music that they like, you know, that, you know, they're just up there, I don't know if they're trying to make money or they're trying to get girls or whatever, but the, but I think we kind of found out if we have something to say um, that maybe we know a little bit about or experience, then then that's kind of what universally connects everybody. You know, we, we were just kind of more about, um, you know, you, you want to make good music all the time. I think that's always the, the thing, but you think, well, what would be cool? You know, and I think when you're getting going to music you're just like well you kind of pull from other bands and you you kind of pull from other influences and and you kind of go down that track where it's it's um you know it's still it's sincere but it's not like it's not raw emotion i think there was there was several songs on the first record that were sincere um and 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 kind of real life stories um and those were the ones that kind of uh connected the most i think that's what made us kind of realize that that that's what was more important. I think we, we've become more and more confident in just doing our own thing. And so whatever that is, um, we're going to take those chances. You know, I, this this record had, uh, the, the first track starts out with banjo. Um, and in most places you get up in front of an audience and you pull out the banjo and half the people are just rolling their eyes. Oh, oh great, here comes, you know, this I'm, This is not for me. I'm not going to like it. But by the end of the song, they, they realize that we've used it in a, in a new way, in a fresh way, and, and uh, there's something really cool about that. And so I think we've just kind of got the, the confidence to do um, the things we want to do. And I think we're, fortunate, we're, we're very fortunate to have a studio uh, in our hometown that's, that's ours. Uh, our bass player is an engineer, and... Um, you know, so he he went to school for that, and and now we he kind of renovated a house, and so we all just go over there and kind of we work on we work on music and then have shish kebab at, at night. You know, so it's a really relaxing atmosphere. Plus, there's nobody there to tell you you can't, you know, you can't spend the next six hours on you know making sure the stomps and claps sound perfect. You know, so we just I mean the the last record we we used, you know, we would drop chains and and uh we just played we played you know fifty dollar guitars and 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 took a lot of chances and i think we became very confident in that and um it just makes us it, it makes the music feel fresher to us and um so it, it makes us to where we're very excited to
play it and perform it for people. We've been kind of co-producing from the beginning, and I think we've taken a little bit more um, on our shoulders uh, with each record. Uh, but we we still like to have a producer come in and say, you know, basically in the in the argument between you know me and my brother or or the band. Um, but I, I think there's there's a lot less pressure. You know, there's no there's not like a basically if the band loves it, you know, all all four of us, if we're all into it, then then we do it. And if somebody's not into it, then we either try to convince them to be into it, or or we just say, look, if we're not all feeling this 100 percent, then we can write something else. We can we can move on and, and do something else that we all will feel um, completely genuine about. I think that's the thing. Whenever you go out and play live shows, um, that's when it's obvious. If if one of the guys is like this this song's not really for me, you can kind of see it. You know, you can kind of see the you know that it's just not connecting with them. Um, so but, but yeah, I think there's a, a lot less pressure because you get to do whatever you want. Um, I guess the only the only thing there is that you gotta you gotta draw the line somewhere. You know, when, when do you what day do you stop with a demo? You know, when when do you how far is too far? But um, so far that's been it's been really fun. Um, well, we I think as soon as we finish a record, as soon as we put it in print, we're like we're starting to write the the new stuff. Me and Bear are the songwriters, and we we're very like competitive in that way. Um, and then we'll also collaborate a lot, but you know we're always we're constantly writing um but yeah i think the vi the this next record is starting to take a little bit of shape but i think there's maybe we've written 15 or 20 songs for it um so far and by by the time we get into the studio hopefully we'll have you know 40 or 50 um but it's starting to it's starting to take shape and we're we're just really excited about it uh it was well, going to be it's going to be i don't think it's going to be as different um from the outsiders as the outsiders was from the heat um but i think i think there's a lot of room to grow sonically uh as far as the band goes um you know typically we've done stuff our last record we we worked with uh jim scott who's uh out of california he worked on some of our favorite records like tom petty uh wildflowers and um so he was he was just an awesome guy to work with and and he's from the very old school where they don't use basically computers for anything you know it was really refreshing for us and and we got in there we just we just did a lot of the tracks live um and so the reverb that you heard or the the delay was was from actual things that made delay or, or actual like a he had a reverb tank you know um so i think that that was fun i think that that had a real raw natural quality and i, I think the new record will probably go from that to I don't know as far as far to the other side as you can go with you know let's just let's explore the studio you know let's kind of figure out what we can achieve there um, sonically so I think I think there's a lot of there's a lot of room for us to to keep going down the same path but but take a lot more chances you know for me and Bear are a lot different um, but but typically whenever I write a song. I I like to think of how it's going to sound. You know, I, I I go through and I'll play the song for hours until, you know, most people would just be sick of the song by then. But like every time, I feel like I'm adding a new layer. Like, what does the bass sound like? What is the drums? What are they doing in the song? Um, you know, is this song atmospheric or is it very intimate and personal? Um, so there's always that. But but when you get in the studio, I think there's there's a bit of magic that happens. Um, when you, whenever you get a, a certain sound or a certain tone or a certain rhythm that, that comes to light in the studio and that'll, you know, sometimes eventually take it down a completely different road. And that's, that's the, the things that, that happen in the studio that can only happen in the studio. Um, but yeah, it definitely happens both ways. Sometimes the song's really thought out and figured out before we get in there. We're now we're trying to chase it down and, and and put it on tape and then sometimes it's just it takes a life of its own hey everybody i'm bo from the band need to breathe check us out in the current issue of mf magazine